I'm going to walk you guys through how to flash a Quadzilla box on Windows 7, 8, and 10. Uh, this includes the V2 tuning. Um, what you'll need is your computer, obviously. USB mini plug. Looks like that. It's not a micro, it's a mini, so it's different than what you plug into your cell phone, but these were used a lot in cameras. Keep in mind, if you go out and buy one of these, a lot of these are going to be two cable, two wire cables that only charge. Make sure you get a data transfer USB mini. How you can tell if you have one is just take your quad box, plug it into your computer. When you plug it in, you should hear a noise. If you hear a noise, you got the correct cable. So you'll also need your quad box, and it needs to be a normal quad, not a 4K for a VP44 Cummins. So it'll have the identifier of ADR1000, 1001, or 1002, and this will work on that. You'll also need your flash file and the driver installer to get it to work for the first time. So I'll post this link up on YouTube, um, but it's on Mopar1973man.com site. So go to the link I post and scroll down and you will see directions step by step on how to do this and also quad quadzilla flasher installer and our flashes so download the flasher installer and then download the flash that you want there's two flashes there's a standard fuel and there's a hard fuel only difference between these two is what happens above 3200 rpm the standard fuel will not fuel via CAN bus beyond about 3,200, 3,300 RPM, whereas the hard fuel will hold fueling as high as it can until 3,500 RPM. Wiretap will continue to hold that fueling up until about 3,700. There's no power up there, but you can set your rev limit up if you want. So once you download what you need, you're going to go to your downloads folder. So this computer downloads, and you'll see everything we have here. First thing you do is right click and unzip this flash utility. This is critical that you do this correctly, otherwise it won't work. Delete everything after C colon forward slash. Hit extract. And you will see then your C root, you now have quad flash INT. If it's not there, this isn't going to work. So open that and you'll see within there are two steps, step one and step two. Step one is to disable driver signing. If you have Windows XP, Windows Vista, or Windows 7, you can skip this step. If you have Windows 8, 8.1, or Windows 10, you need to run this step. What this does is allow the Quadzilla drivers to be installed. Microsoft changed a lot of the security and permission stuff, and it made it a pain in the butt to develop these kind of things. So what we're going to do, right click, run as admin, going to prompt you with a box saying, hey, we're going to reboot your computer, hit any key, and then after a minute it's going to restart. Once it restarts, it will pick up uh, right where we need to be. If you have Windows 8, you may need to run that process manually. What you need to do is hit start and then type in startup options or startup repair, and one of the options there will be advanced, and that's where we'll pick up this video. So we're going to wait for the computer to reboot. So it's going to restart into a blue screen here. And you only have to do this once. Once you do this once, you won't have to do it again. So the middle option here is troubleshoot. Click that. Advanced Options, Startup Settings, and then Restart. So your computer is going to restart and it's going to ask you what you want to do with your startup settings. This will only work for one reboot. So after you restart your computer again, these settings will be taken away. Keep in mind you don't need to do this every time you want to flash the quad. So we're going to hit number 7. We want 7. So just hit 7 on your keyboard. It will restart your computer with driving signing disabled. That's what we need to install the Quadzilla. So once we have this started, you're going to take your Quadzilla USB and you're going to plug her all in.
Just go to your computer to find your folders, your files, wherever you need to go. Go to your C root so you can find that Quadzilla file we had. So again, we're at C, Quadzilla flash, int. Right click step two. And run as administrator. That's key again. You need to do that. It'll pop up with the blocks telling you to plug in your stuff. So we'll go ahead and plug it in. And then it's going to count down from 55, 60, something like that. I don't remember. There we go. So it's going to count down. You'll hear the Quadzilla beeping on and off, on and off. That's fine. Just let it count down, it's going to do its computer thing. Uh, next is going to copy the files needed and then it's going to prompt you go ahead and hit install this driver anyway is what that's saying is Windows can't verify that this driver is correct I promise you it is hit anyways and it's going to say drivers installed successfully press any key to continue you're done uh, now you're ready to flash any Quadzilla flash from your computer to your box. So I'm going to go ahead and select the hard fuel tune because I have valve train mods to do so. I got them saved to my desktop and then also here, but we'll just run these ones. If you get an error when you double click the flash file, uh, you need to install Net Framework 3.5. If you get a pop up that says we're going to install your box, you can just hit cancel and it'll bring you to this one. What you want to do so you have to get information from module button. What that's going to do is make sure that the computer can see the Quadzilla. This may take a couple times or it may work right off the bat. You'll see at the left there the information from the module. Once you see this information here, go ahead and hit the update module button. And that will flash the V2 tuning or any other flash for the Quadzilla to your, to your box. So it's going to go through its thing and it's going to program it. Take about, I don't know, 20 seconds for this to complete. Now keep in mind this is only the bat base flash. Uh, your custom tuning is all done on your phone, so there's no need to do this if you want to change your tune. You just change what's on your phone. So it's going to go through and uh, update everything, and then you'll see the statuses, feature code update. Once it says update complete, and it starts beeping at you again, you're good to unplug your box, take it out to your truck, and run it. Next thing, you need your iQuad. This won't work with the PV screen, so you need your iQuad set up. If you're going to run V2 tuning, make sure that you go into your vehicle selection and select the V2 vehicle for your year. If you have a 98 to 2000, click that one. If you have a 102, click that one. Once you do that, you can go in and you should see all of your custom tuning variables. You see my different tunes here. i got four of them and go into my daily and you should see all of the V2 tuning features. You're done, ready to go, enjoy.